One of the big issues with obesity is because people think it's a choice, is there's a lot of weight stigma. There is, there is, okay? You know, kids are cruel, so they, they, they call the, the, the other kids' names. Adults are cruel. You know, you can't turn on the TV to have someone fat shaming someone else. And this has actually given rise to a movement called the body positivity movement, okay? And they say that there is health at every size. And I understand the movement. I understand why it's actually come to be. But I just want to put it out there that they've probably got it slightly wrong. They've swung too much the other way in, in terms of trying to look for health at every size. Because I don't think there can be health at every size. Let, let, so let's rewind just for, three, just for a, a few minutes. What do I mean by this? I guess the question to ask is, first of all, what does obesity mean? And don't say BMI above 30 because that's just a number. I think obesity is carrying too much fat so that it begins to influence your health. Okay, let's accept that argument. And this is the interesting thing about obesity. People mistake what happens when you gain weight and lose weight. They think that you gain fat cells and you lose fat cells, which is not true. Your fat cells are actually like balloons. They get bigger when you gain weight, they get smaller when you lose weight, okay? They get balloons. Now, the safest place to store fat is in your fat because you're a professional fat storing organ. Where you become ill, where you get issues, is when the fat is not in the fat but goes into your muscle, goes into your liver, then you end up with diseases like type 2 diabetes. The interesting thing is that different people can store different amounts of fat safely, okay, before they become ill. So, famously, South Asian people, Indians, Bangladeshis, um, uh, Pakistanis, uh, East Asian people, people that look like me, we can't get that large before we increase our risk for disease, okay? C compared to white people, compared to Polynesians famously, who can get far larger before they increase their risk of disease. And this is down to safe fat carrying capacity. Not only how big can your fat cells expand, but also where you actually put your, your fat. So while there are skinny people with type 2 diabetes, you can have larger people that are metabolically healthy but there is no health at every size. They can be health at many sizes in a population because you get, you know, you get skinny people ill and larger people not ill. But if you pass your own personal safe fat carrying capacity, you will become ill. There is no way around, around that. And there is just a big difference between blaming the person suffering from the problem um, and admitting that the problem is a mistake to, to, um, to, to begin with.